In addition to books and articles, you may be looking for information from other types of sources. One example might be statistical sources. To find some statistical search tools, let's start with the Search and Find drop-down menu and select Resources A to Z. Next, I'm going to use the All Subjects drop-down menu to find resources for statistics. Here I have a list of databases containing statistical information. Data Planet is a resource that contains more than 18.9 billion data points from more than 70 source organizations. This resource can be used to find and analyze key economic indicators, data on education, crime, housing, employment, income, and more. Data Planet also includes some international statistics. There are several ways to make a data selection. I can either select data from the left side of the page by drilling down until I find what I'm looking for, or I can use the search box at the top of the page to search for something specific. For example, I'm interested in the International Consumer Price Index. If I do a search, I will see a result from the OECD. I know that this organization collects international data, so I'm going to click that first option. A graph of the data appears in the center of the page. Below the graph, I find a description of the OECD and of the data set. There is also an automatically generated citation. If you use this citation, make sure to change it so that it is a correctly formatted APA style citation. Along the top of the graph, I can modify the dates if I need to. If you are on a Mac, you can hold down Command or Control on a PC to make multiple selections. I can change which countries are displayed by clicking the checkbox and then selecting the individual countries I want to find information on. And I can also change the socioeconomic indicator that is displaying. Along the top of the graph, I can change how the data is displayed. I can view the data as a trend line, map, pie chart, or bar graph. You won't necessarily have all of these options for every data set. I can also click rank by to change the X and Y axes. Please note that anytime I make a new selection, my data selections at the top will reset and I'll need to make sure that the correct date, countries, and indicators are selected again. If I click show data, the raw data will be presented on the right side of the graph. The export option allows me to download the graph as a PDF or I can download the raw data as a text file, SAS file, or Excel file. If I click the green arrows, I can view the graph in full screen mode. 